The next Peabody goes to The Queen of Trees, a truly remarkable documentary that explores the relationship between the glorious African fig tree and the tiny wasp that enables it to become central to the ecology of its region. Strangest of all is the relationship upon which she completely depends. The two partners couldn't be more different. One can withstand a river in flood, the other can drown in a dewdrop. One lives for centuries, the other only hours. They differ in size a billion times over. At about a millimeter long, the fig wasp is so small that it could fly through the eye of a needle. But no fig tree could exist without it. Sycamore figs are found throughout tropical Africa. In southern Kenya, they thrive along river banks. This is the story of one of those trees. Accepting the Peabody Award is Fred Kaufman, executive producer for Nature at 13 WNET. Thank you. Who knew our little fig wasp story would get this sort of attention? And by the way, as you heard, the fig wasp can fly through the eye of a needle, and we had needles on location just to make sure that was the case. <laughs> Unfortunately, the extraordinary filmmakers who produced this film cannot be here today. Mark Diebel and Vicki Stone are a husband and wife team that spent two years in the field chasing those fig wasps. By the way, this is their second Peabody. I want, to like, I want to thank the team of co-producers that participated in the project, including the BBC, NHK, ZDF, and Granada. And I also want to thank PBS and WNET and Nature's two long-term sponsors, Ford and Cannon. Thank you very much. <laughs>